getting, this is about an X. <laughs> yeah. I was getting chewed out because I didn't know um, international men. I didn't know what I didn't know that that specific day was International Women's Day. Oh, I, I wasn't on my phone. I don't know the Hence exact why date. she's an ex. Well, no, 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 no. She's not an ex anymore. Um, <laughs> Your shirt back. looks great, man. Yeah, my old guy shirt on. You know what I didn't? You know what I I noticed? You didn't notice? What? Oh, I got a good arm. You got the good arm, man. Oh man, and it sucks because we're only this is second to last episode yeah. that, on this set. But at least we'll have these for wherever we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. We're gonna have, we're, for the next set. We're definitely gonna have a, a better one, so we'll both be yeah. able to. Oh, that's good. Oh wow, yeah, nice, right? Yeah. Look at look at you! Yeah. Look at you! Look at you! You're the one that did this. Um, but yeah, everyone. So Eric. Well, first off, hi. My name is Matthew Espinosa. This is Eric Griffin. Welcome back to Gen to Gen, Gen, a podcast diving into the similarities and differences between our generations. You know what? I'm. It's funny that you just did that. We actually should be doing that every episode. The the intro and outro. No, just like being like, hey, this is what this is about. Yeah, that's because a good point. somebody might. This could be their first one. The first one. If and this is your first one, welcome. Yeah. And if this is not your first one and you're a regular, thanks for being here thanks as always. Back. But yeah. we should do it. It's like when you write, when you, like, it's like when somebody writes a book, like in a series, you know, mm-hmm. the second book in the series, they always, I always used to wonder why, why are they re. <laughs> Uncle Bubs is here, everybody. <laughs> Some just sneeze and then <laughs> let that be that. Some sneeze at a decibel of three and then yeah. apologize at a decibel of eight. <laughs> It's like, Tew, sorry, <laughs> at you, sorry. <laughs> Somebody doesn't need attention anyway. <laughs> but they we were like, you, the second book would come out, and they were sort of like recap. They would say information that mm-hmm. I would go, I already know this. Yeah, but, but maybe I, it was for the people who didn't read the first one, right? Which is weird. I think it's, it's like, weird to pick up the second, second book. One, you know, would yeah. you do that? Maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't think has well, anyone I, ever done that. I well, don't know. I recent movie wise, I just recently watched Wakanda Forever, and my brother hadn't seen Black Panther, so he was asking all of us, "Hey, do you not need to even watch the Bo- same thing though?" But I know. But that, what I was going to say is because mean. they give a lot yeah, of yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those ones where they don't want to make sure, like they want to be able to get as many people as possible yeah, watching it. it. So, so yeah. But um, but anyways, we were talking about um yeah the, these arms and eric was mentioning that these this is going to be some of the last you know couple episodes with this being our set everyone set because we're moving we are moving yes we're, we're getting a whole team together for jenna jen we're gonna get some money behind jenna jen finally <laughs> we had humble beginnings very humble Oof, beginnings humble you know and at the end of the day it's just you know it's it, it's time you know so i think this is going to be a, so a this really is going to be the, like we have two more this will be the end of season two then yeah. we're going to start season no, three strong season one actually no really we're, we're still in season one uh, we never specific- we should have made this season two i want season one point season one part two of this would yeah season. okay i like that so then we're officially going to have a season, season one two. volume two yeah volume two yeah <laughs> yeah we should I guess we should do that we should go back yeah. and change all the titles well, yeah we'll go back and change all the titles <laughs> I, I actually do want to do that i want to i want to episode oh, okay let's do that let's yeah, do that. yeah good idea sure. but we're back so how was your uh thanksgiving oh and then do you ever put up those polls we wanted to do on the uh you i know you didn't huh on the youtube and things asking any any good uh <laughs> once we leave here matthew's done <laughs> He basically just told me. He just went like, "I have no idea what you're talking about." Is there any? Is there any comments or anything that we want to? Uh, you know? Oh, I don't like that you could see your camera. He sees his camera, so now he's just going to be obsessed with what he looks like. Yeah, put no, that down because yeah, you shouldn't be looking at that. I put it down. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, let me let me just make sure. I'm just good. keep it up, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, I like yeah, that. Oh, there, there I am. Oh, see, oh, wow. For now that I see that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. See how he changed up so quick? Fuck He's off. like, oh, look at Matthew <laughs> looking at himself. Now you're like, oh, look at me. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. that's what it is when you like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anyways. Um, but yeah, my holidays no comments. were comments. How, co- yeah, how were the holidays? How they, was Thanksgiving? They were good. They were good. Went up to Sequoia National Forest with the fam bam. And it yeah. was it was really cool. It's crazy like to see the size of those trees. 
That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? How do you even? How does your brain go to that? <laughs> talking about trees. We talk about practice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you went out with your family. And Matthew's yeah. mom's still around, which is great. I love his mom because well, my she, dad is too. I just say just my mom. No, I, your dad's great, but your dad is who he is. You know what yeah. I mean? Your dad's like he's gonna come in with his you know short sleeve shirt and be like, "What do I need to lift?" Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like, would you get your old ass out of here? If we got hey. it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But his mom, Matthew's mom, always has great stories. Every time she sees me, she wants to tell me a little nugget. A little, so just a quick little, little, you know, little thing. Splice, yeah, you know? a little embarrassing story from your childhood. So it's always and great. Today's story was about when my sister went to college as a freshman, and I was so distraught. Yeah. So now we know, as you if you've been following the podcast, we're trying to find out who's Matthew's favorite is, and we now know it's his sister. <laughs> Because he cried like a little baby when she went to college. Well, he was like, like, no! <laughs> and and Eric knows this, but I didn't say it. We didn't say it publicly yet. But when I when she, when she I was crying, I was saying, I was like, why couldn't you just go to Strayer University? <laughs> and that's like a community college. So obviously I'd be able to see her a lot more. So Yeah, he loves his sister. You know, so. So when Ryan left for college, anything? Was there? <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no, no, no. Bye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Later, dog. <laughs> We already know Ryan's no, your no, least favorite. It's okay. No, it's literally not true at all. I cause, <laughs> bro, I get advice. For, I I get specific advice from Ryan that I can't get from Dylan nor Kristen. Cause like Dylan's like really close to my age. He's only two years older than me. And Kristen's, you know, she's my sister who can gives me gives me specific advice. Right. I'll ask what Ryan's like seven years older than me. He gives me like oh, so now we have it. We've narrowed it down. Dylan dies first. <laughs> no, I, you know what? We're done with this. We're done with this. We're done with this. We, we're, yes, we we've talked. It out. We've talked about also before this. We talked about a topic about breakfast. Yeah, breakfast starts. It's not a time thing. Excuse me. Breakfast ends at at at. There's a there's a grace period for breakfast. It lunch officially starts at noon. Okay, but like breakfast ends. Somewhere in the 11s, okay? So, like, if it's, like, 11.15, you can still get breakfast. But a lot of places, you can't get breakfast after 10.30. I know. It is okay? BS. <laughs> okay, but I'm just telling you, breakfast is anything before, say, 11.45. So, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. You wake up. You had a burger, let's say, at 10 a.m. Is that breakfast? You had a burger for breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, but now is that, there, now now is there that are, there's there, breakfast foods. Yes, there are breakfast foods, foods that if you have those breakfast foods any other time, by the it's way, it's still considered breakfast. No, if you have break, okay, if you have breakfast foods at two, that's brunch. No, <laughs> if it's brunch. your first, it's whatever your first meal of the day is. No, yes, it is. Bro, look it up. No. Let's break down the words. Break. Fast breakfast. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm breaking that's my like fast. The, the initial whatever of it, but we all know when we say breakfast that we mean eggs, bacon, pancakes, waffles before a certain time. There's breakfast, there's lunch, there's dinner. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Do you think breakfast is one of those categories of food you could have any time of the day? I don't want to wake up and have a steak, but obviously- You never have steak and eggs? No. <sighs> Because you're a monster. I, you, steak, because and I, are, steak and eggs are delicious. I just had steak and eggs in Chicago. I was just in Chicago, and, and shout out to everybody that came yeah, to Chicago. Yeah, man's have five sold out shows. Yeah, we have five sold out shows Let's at Zany's downtown. It was great, so thanks for coming out. But anyways, um, and also check me out on uh, Eric Griffin Gaming. I, I, I twitch all the time. Yeah, and all he does is just showcase him dying in COD, so. <laughs> good. <laughs> Oh, you're so good, huh? <laughs> uh, I, I, and where and what and what's um is it Uncle Bubs on Twitch too? Maybe we should just pump her Twitch out too. Yeah, but now she's only gonna be doing solo Twitch now. Oh, yeah. There was a big fight. What happened? No, no, it's just hard scheduling conflicts. They're they're still best friends. It's just it's, it's hard getting they, two people they, to. They had a fight. <laughs> no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Because she's still gonna stream it. They still play yeah, together. No, I, I get it. But so, but anyway, we'll put that up another time we'll, 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 when we showcase her on the podcast. But anyways, yeah. um, yeah. So check me out, Eric Griffin Gaming. Uh, yeah, dude. Breakfast. You can have. There's anything you can have. It would just be called like a breakfast burger. You know. 
a, oh yeah, breakfast. Yeah, a breakfast, Sammy. Yeah, you have a, a breakfast Sammy. sandwich. You know what I mean? But I just feel yeah. like breakfast, though. It, it is like like when is it breakfast and when is it not breakfast? And it's like it gets tricky around like eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen Big Daddy with Adam Sandler? Yeah. Remember how like the whole McDonald's thing? When it's like breakfast ends at at ten oh one and or I know 10 and it's, it's like, like ridiculous. But they, but they stopped that because there's see McDonald's had to compete with the other places because Jack in the Box has breakfast all day. Yeah, they, but they, but see Jack in the Box has too much stuff. Yeah, they, bro, they got tacos, churros, yeah. this that. It's like let's pick a category. Yeah, they have like teriyaki it. bowl, dude. It's like, like what I don't are want you? I don't want to go into a spot that for instance isn't sushi like a foundation of sushi. Let's say I, right. unless, I'm not going to eat sushi unless it's a sushi spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I want, like let's pick our category. Completely let's, disagree. I've been. To, you, ever, you ever been to Ocean Prime? I've never even heard of Ocean Prime. Ocean Prime is a is that, great steakhouse, and there's one in Beverly Hills. Okay, but that kind you of know? that's tied in. A, a good steakhouse can have sushi too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have like. But the like, tuna. I don't want to go to a place that has burgers, the, like a, like everything on the menu and yeah, sushi. Yeah, then I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, let's. Yeah. I'm a little leery of sushi too. I I'm go very like, leery of sushi. Yeah, Wait, like leery. I'm not gonna have any gas station sushi. Yeah, mm -mm, no way. Cautious, leery is like you're like you're like ooh, what's going on there? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, what's um? Do we do we have no comments from uh the 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 past? Uh, or you don't have your phone? Or is that your phone right there? No, that's that's all because what it, what happened? I can go. Or yeah, or you can. Um, but um, oh, while you do wait, that, is she gonna give you her phone? That would have been interesting to see. <laughs> I don't think she would have. I'm using it. Right now. I'm using it right now. <laughs> so I have a funny story actually. Too. Let me hear. Let me hear the story. And while I go to this, we got it. Yeah, yeah. it's working. It's just that one. Just make sure that one's working. We actually um, don't need you. <laughs> no I'm kidding. So, so basically. Yeah, we gotta get what's going on. We gotta get more people to watch this podcast. <laughs> well, the last week it was difficult because we didn't upload the week before that. Oh, so it he was. Still. But I'm honestly, I just, I just want to get episodes out. I'm not in a rush to have a crazy, crazy, like insanely big fan well, we base got, right now. Well, you know, we got good comments. Yeah, we got some good comments. You know, our content's there. We just gotta get our distribution on point. Content is there. We need better distribution. That's the main thing, and we're gonna work on that, everyone. And you know what? It's going to be funny because in a year from now, two years from now, when all these views are going up, we're going to be looking at this like, dang. Well, here's some We had humble one. beginnings. Just song. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. I don't know why people have these weird ass names. How is that weird? He goes, seriously, Craig. There, there's seriously? someone in another country thinking, what is Eric's name? That's a weird name. Like, I guess. Same theory. He goes, seriously, cracks me up when Eric makes Matthew feel pressured to choose, save his favorite sibling. <laughs> yeah, it's the most like, Couldn't stop who laughing, does that? What kind of back sick and and, He's calling me a monster. <laughs> and this sick individual is telling me to choose between my siblings. You know you would. Eric, but here's a good one. Eric brings out the best in Matthew. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. Thanks. See that? There you go. Uh, glad that. Matthew put the link. Okay. Timbo. Um, I've experienced hella sciatica and threw my back out during like, during that like five times and put me in bed for a month till it healed again. <laughs> so this is like a thing for people. Yeah. There's like some good. I'm telling you, if you, if you look up like sciatic. Uh, stretching and exercises. There's a lot of doctors out there that have great YouTube channels that'll really show you how to like do some different stretches that you have to do. You get like into a routine doing it normally, and it's really going to help alleviate that pain. Mm -hmm. uh, and also too, with alleviating pain on on sciatica too, the number one best pain reliever is just staying active. The more you're active, the more you're working out, the more you're yeah. strength training, the less like like when I was working out all the time and I, I'm still on a consistent note, not as consistent as I where I was doing it like every single day. I, I don't think I would ever do it every single day anymore. That was just wasn't wasn't good for me. Um, but w you don't feel any pain. It was only when I stopped for a little bit and then did so, like boxing or something like that. Then the next day I was like, holy crap. Like, yeah, I saw you boxing on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting them. I think I can take you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I saw from that. If, oh, dude. You if know what you I think you can take me, that means I can take you because you're not that confident. <laughs> you're not that confident. If you're was, already looking at that, you're like, I think I can take him. <laughs> you're not that confident. I was watching because Rachel watches this podcast, Call Her Daddy. Mm -hmm. And she just had, oh, my God. What was that girl's name? She's a big influencer. Brittany. 
No, 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 no. She had this big influencer on there. She's a big YouTuber. Her dad's a famous actor. Chamberlain something. Oh, Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain. Uh, Emma, Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, Emma yeah. Chamberlain was on. You know what she was talking about her childhood? She goes, uh, she was like, oh, I hate to admit this, but I had a massive, massive uh, obsession with MagCon. Yeah. <laughs> we was, did our thing, man. Yeah, she was talking about it, and I was like, oh, that's so interesting. So it's like it, I wanted. I was almost gonna tape it and tell you to and, and send it to you to look at it, but well, we yeah. could probably use that as clickbait for this title, huh? And so here's Emma what, Chamberlain loves MagCon. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, she didn't mention you though, unfortunately. It's okay. She, she was like Cameron Dallas, Nash Greer, and uh, the mm. the the singer. Yeah. Didn't make the cut, huh? Didn't make the cut. It's okay. It's okay. We love you. We'll make the cut later <laughs> on in life. Me, the cats, and Uncle Bubs love you. Yeah. Um, oh, here's a good one. A topic of discussion on your podcast. I saw a clip of the show recently where they asked about 10 to 15 girls, probably in their 20s, if they would rather have an IG account or a long-lasting, loving relationship. <laughs> Whoa. He goes, every girl chose the IG account. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this was a question that they did a yeah, survey on Yeah, they did on some kind girls? of thing. It's so funny. So I don't know if that was like, you Wait, know. Wait, what? Bro, that reminds me. There was a video I just saw of some guy going up to a whole bunch of different girls and was like, would you rather a million dollars or to con- or staying with your uh, significant other? Dude, Ooh. so many people chose a million dollars. But that's because they don't understand the value of money. That's not even a lot of money. Y- yeah. Y- y- and after a while, you're going to because what are you oh, going to do? Oh, also, how confident they are in the relationship. Some people are like, Yeah, I've only been dating three weeks. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll take the million. Okay, I get that. Yeah, I'm running that no, but million. But you got to go to people with in a long last relationship. Yeah. You'd be like, Because if you really start to think about it, what are you going to do with that million dollars? Because if you think you're not going to work anymore ever in life, you're foolish. Oh, you got to move out of U.S. or something. Yeah, there's That's like, the you're going to live way. in some middle America or something like that in some yeah. rural town. And but, even then, you'd probably still have to work. Yeah, a million dollars isn't a lot. Okay, so let's, let's break it down. If you got a million dollars everybody at home or whoever's watching right now if you got a million dollars would you move most people would probably move oh yeah and then okay. i remember yeah yeah, yeah. Right. so if you moved what would your rent be so are you gonna move to a nice place or are you gonna pay rent or are you gonna buy a home now but if you what home you're gonna buy that whole million dollars is gonna be gone yeah so let's true. say if you're already renting you're gonna keep renting because you don't want to work you know right so you think you're not gonna work let's say you say your rent goes up to what five thousand a month mm-hmm all right, is that is that realistic? Yeah, it's realistic. Okay, so five thousand a month. What is that? That's what seventy two thousand. Wait, five times uh, well, sixty. Yeah, yeah, sixty. Sixty k a year. Yeah, sixty. Right, that's what I'm saying sixty. Right. So you're talking about all right. So there's sixty k right there gone. already. And then you're talking about are you going to eat? Is there food? Are you going to get a new car? What are you going to get? Like let's you know, say that's another forty k right there. Just, let's just let's just throw off hundred k into expenses right away. Okay, so then that means if that is it, if it's just a hundred k a year. You good for nine years, nine. and that's <laughs> that's implying you're not gonna go on a trip. Right, you're not that's gonna have saying. that's <laughs> that's that's your basics. Like you're of not gonna like, do anything of living else. of a roof over your head and food on your plate and to travel and like to get a around. million dollars would be a lot of money for you if you didn't change your lifestyle. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. So if your rent right now is say twenty five hundred and you got a million dollars, then you like okay, now I, I I I'm gonna let this I'm gonna make this work for me for I don't know how long, but mm. it's not gonna be. It's just a lot, a lot of money. People don't understand the value. But that is yeah. an interesting question, you know. But it's like, you know, would you... But it's how confident, like I said, yeah. you are in your significant other. And so, some people, a lot of the people actually who were like, oh, we've been dating for like a year. No, I don't think I would give... I, I, I love them too But would much. you like, give your phone up? Would you give your phone up Okay. for two years? No, it has to be a good amount. Would you give your phone up for five years? That's a good amount. No phone, no smartphone. No smartphone. No smartphone. I have smartphone? a flip phone, though. I need to be able to get Maybe communicated. Maybe a flip. No, hey, how did I do it when I was a kid? We didn't have flip phones. What did we do? How did people we get communicated? Yeah, people. There, there was pay phones, and there was a home phone. There was like, you don't even understand. Can I huh? have a, what's a pay phone? A pay I'm, phone. I'm like joking. A, oh. oh, my gosh. I'm joking, Eric. How young do you think I am? You was about to describe what a oh, pay phone. I'm about to slap you. <laughs> Just reach over. <laughs> no, but so would you give your phone, would you give up? A smartphone, social media, yeah, all, that, all that. You have um, to give it all up for, for five, five years. years for, say, $5 million. No. Because I believe I could make $5 million within those five years on by using my phone. Okay. Wow. That's very confident of you. <laughs> Jesus. You. Making us all feel bad. <laughs> like what? If you're not making $5 million, guys, in five years, <laughs> you're not making it happen. <laughs> 
Are you even on the internet if you're not yeah, making yeah, yeah. five million in what five years? What are you even years? doing on the internet? Get off your ass and work. <laughs> so that's uh, the interesting one. So, um, no, okay, right. but what about? Let, what? Let's let's bump it up a bit. Uh-huh. Wait, first off, would you five years for five mil? Yeah, yeah, five, five. years. <laughs> See ya. Later. See ya later. I'm go live. I would go take get that money. I would I would want to like be off the grid anyway. Ah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. What age am I in this hypothetical? It's and you, do I it's have you right now? It's me right now. Yeah. See, it's easy for me to say that. I don't care about this. I'd be I'd be I'd be out. Yeah, you're putting me in a difficult yeah. What about if I'm like thirty five? Can I do it then? No. Come on, man. No, what are you talking about? You're so close to thirty five though. So. No, shut up. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm a I'm a kid. And oh, I won't be a kid God. forever, man. Uh, um let's see. What? What are you looking up right now? I'm just looking at more comments. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, while you do that, let me tell you about the time I got roasted at this comedy show last week, bro. Okay, what happened? I went to the improv. Right. I'm with I'm with Olga. I'm with my sister and her boyfriend. I'm with Dylan, my brother, and my mom and dad. And, and where's Ryan, your favorite? <laughs> he was at where was he? That's my whole point. He wasn't able to go. No, him and all, him and his girlfriend weren't able to go. He wasn't. I, mean, I was gonna say Alejandro. Ryan wasn't even invited. Alejandro. But go on. All right. So um, then what happened? So they somehow got in the front of the line, like front, front, front of the line. So we're wa- so they let us in. There's like seven of us, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Yeah, pick wherever you want to seat or sit or whatever." And I'm just like, "Okay." And then randomly, one one of us were like, "Oh yeah, let's sit in the front." And I was like, ah, "That's the roast zone." Like. <laughs> Y'all know what you're getting. The yourself. roast zone. Yeah, it's like the splash That's zone, true. but the roast zone. Like you automatically. Man, you guys getting... came to my show and I roasted you guys. Yeah, <laughs> you weren't even in and that was the roast zone. We were front row, pretty much. <laughs> like we were right there. You could see us. You know, if you if the comedian can see you, it's like Medusa. They can. <laughs> That's see online you. too, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> that that comment you were making during that show was crazy. Um. Anyways, so I we sit down. We're in the front row now. I was like, all right, like this is it. I've never sat front row to, at a comedy show. Uh-huh. The closest time i had was when at yours right and that was even on the side you know yeah dude i look over and i said to my brother and my sister i swear on my beating heart i said this in verbatim i said this exact thing right i said how much you want to bet one of the comedians are gonna call me out and say i look like justin bieber and i don't <laughs> i don't just say that i don't just randomly walk around i'm going in a target to buy a shelf or, or buy buy a, a whatever and then and then i'm not i'm not walking around like uh, oh yeah, someone's gonna think I look like just like I don't, I don't like I I'm Matthew Espinosa. I I like being Matthew. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason, I had a feeling they were gonna do that because automatically, if they don't know me, they're gonna go. Most comedians are gonna go for looks. That's their first like because they don't know the person, so they're obviously yeah. gonna go for looks. Is the automatic thing that you're just gonna make fun of or roast is attributes. And if not attributes, the person that they're next to, they're gonna be like, so what's going on with you both? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're gonna. And I've just I've watched so many shows. That, so I said they're probably gonna make fun of my look and automatically jump into that. Also, I had a beanie on. I was. Oh, you I, look stupid. I, I looked. <laughs> I was playing. I guess that in, you were. You, know. you, 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 you were. You were using your Bieber starter kit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you let's, could buy let, it at Target. Let's let's go with that. We were on the Bieber starter kit, <laughs> and within, bro, the first person comes up. I can't make this up. Brian Monarch. He was like, oof. He was like, <laughs> so uh, someone told me uh, Justin Bieber's in the front row. I'm like, are you? I look over to Dylan and Chris. I'm like, mm-hmm. like I told you. And then, um, yeah, like it happened a few more times. And then uh, Jeremy Piven came up after and was like Jeremy. roasting too. He was just like. How old are you? And I was like, 25. And he was like, I have moisturizer on my face at 25 years old. And he said something like that. And I was just, I was Does weak. he though? <laughs> no, it was, it was we crazy. Can, I can, we, he's the one of the guy we, we could get on this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we, we were DMing. I, I hit him up after. I was like, hey, great show. Like I was in the front row. He was like, nice to see you. And they put in the in, uh, parentheses, he was like, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah it's yeah it's scary being in the front row for 
It is what it is. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, you just gotta like, you know, you just go with it, you know? I, and that's that's I what love gets that. me excited People now, for Gen to Gen Live, bro. <laughs> Gen to Gen Live is gonna be because I don't wanna sit down like we're doing and like I don't want if we're in front of a like when we're in front of a crowd, I wanna be standing up with you. No, we gotta do it like this at first. You know, we I know, but imagine if they a, a time when we're both standing up, like actually talking, like that's gonna bring out the whole different type All of energy. Right. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Look for that and coming it's, your way. And it's gonna be like me in my little pre stand up comedy phase. Oh no! I don't think I ever could do stand up comedy. I'm you too afraid. You do stand up comedy, and I'll do what do I? What would I do that you do? I don't know. Social influencing. Post some, post some TikToks. And yeah. And <laughs> we'll flip roles. Yeah. No, but it was. It, I. 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 You'd I do be love married, and shows. I'll be in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. However, you guys. Call it. I don't even know. I'll be in a relationship. <laughs> I can't ever win. Uh, I, still, I, I can't ever win. Yeah, well, um, my Thanksgiving, what did I do? I went to yeah, Rachel's family's do? place. It was good. Her, her mom cooked. It was actually really good. Uh, Why'd you say actually? Like you weren't expecting It's not that. always good. <laughs> <laughs> Just being 100. Okay, oh, my. That, she, <laughs> she likes to. Because Rachel's cooking it or Rachel's mom? No, mom's? Rachel's mom. But Rachel's mom likes to do like different things. She'll like, always like, she likes cooking shows and like different recipes. But I don't know. So you guys are the gerbil. Yeah. You guys this, are the gerbil for trying this something This Thanksgiving, new. it was something. Mwah, she uh, hit the jackpot. The nice. turkey was juicy. And, yeah, it was real good. And she made mac and cheese for me. What, do you usually not have mac? Why do you say mac and cheese? I don't. They, I don't think they usually make mac, mac and cheese. And it, it's like Rachel's always had. She, Rachel's had a fake dairy allergy for her whole life, so you know. I don't even. I feel like. <laughs> I, I feel yeah, like they all have they fake all, allergies. They all do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But it's like gluten one week. Yeah, but, but Rachel's, and Rachel's stuck next. to it though. Uh, oh, okay, but I think that's she didn't the break whole, character. That's the whole reason, though. I think that like. She looks the way she looks, you know. I think that she didn't eat certain types of foods. She just told herself she had an allergy, and mm -hmm. she stuck with it. Yeah, you know. So, and she and people have food sensitivities. You I was about get, to say, I feel like there's 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 a, a, a you big get difference. a test for that. Yeah, there's a difference between food sensitivities and allergies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. What I'm but she, but they think you know they, those type of girls they take a food sensitivity and they go, it says I'm allergic to you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So so but so they hadn't normally did that. So she made it this time for Got me. Nice. But then Rachel was like rubbing down. That, that's what I'm saying. She, it's always selective when this allergy pops up. Mm -hmm. It depends on what restaurant we're at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or what what type of ice cream is is presented can, oh. in front of you? Let me just hit the. Oh, that's what happened. That was good. Yeah. You could always and, 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 and we're back. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. You can always tell, like, what kind of relationship. I could just see what kind of relationship you have. It's because I'm saying stuff and you're going like this. You hearing this? Yeah, the last like last three minutes. You're I, hearing this, woman. The last three minutes, I was like, yeah, because that's exactly what it is. It's like they have these weird alleys. So, so it's weird. Like we'll go to like a restaurant, like, especially if we go to a steakhouse. Yeah, if we go to a steakhouse and then like it'll be like whatever sautéed something in butter, and and then I'll be like, Rachel, you should we not get? She, oh no, no, let's get that. <laughs> Oh, you not allergic to butter anymore? Yeah. Huh? What's going last on? Last week, we... yeah, yeah. For like the last six months, you know, you've been like ruining all the food, <laughs> putting this new olive oil on. She's it or always something like, like that. whatever. It's like it's like I always say we go to restaurants. So I got to order, and it got, I got to be like, yeah, everything that makes this delicious, take that off. Yeah, Just take, take it all off. That's yeah. how she'll order. She'll order like like it'll be like some hamburger that like some specialty hamburger that has like. Like, like a special sauce yeah. on it and all like, this yeah, uh, a burger. pickled onions and all these. Yeah. Meat. She'll go like, yeah, let me get that burger, please. But no sauce. Um, no bread. <laughs> um, no meat patty. <laughs> Just, I just went. I just went the lettuce and the onions. So you want a salad? So, <laughs> so, so you want, so you a, want sal a salad? <laughs> you want a salad? That's what you, you asked for. Yeah. So that's how. Yeah. So it was good. But it, anyway, her mom did it up. It was. Nice. It was really good. So we had a good. It was. Like, we had a good time. And I'm not. I haven't really spent a lot of like Thanksgivings in the past, like recent history, where I've had like a great memorable time. But since being married and since knowing Rachel, I've had some really good times just going hanging out with her family. So that's good. That's good. 
Do you um when before you were uh, dating her and you were single, what would you normally do for Thanksgiving? Well, that's what I'm saying. I didn't like you know I would go see my mom. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. But then like you know they were gone though. That was the thing too. Is my parents were in Spain. Got it. They moved to Spain. And then my mom. Oh, they moved to Spain. Yeah, they had moved to Spain. Oh wow, how long? So were they in uh, Spain? They, well, they were there for like five six years. Oh wow, you know okay. What I mean? And then but then when my mom came back, is she had dementia. You know, so oh, so when she went to Spain, yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. have it. Yeah, she was. It was. We knew something was up, mm-hmm. she, but it was like regular, like getting old, r- losing your memory type of thing, mm-hmm. or repeating yourself. But then it was like it really like accelerated. So now it's like Thanksgivings aren't. You know, that's but may, that's what makes Thanksgiving hard for me right now. It's like you know because that used to be like holidays used to be a big thing for her. So now she's just kind of like. Pfft, with the holidays, you know, and so that's what your mom you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of hard that way. But like with Rachel, it's like, it's back again. Yeah. That that spirit. Yeah. yeah, And and Rachel loves to decorate. Oh my God. There's like a Christmas tree up right now. That's awesome. That's a blessing though. I know it is. She loves it. Like like, uh, our door, whatever the season is, there'll be something on the door. So right now there's one of those. The wreaths. Yeah. The wreaths on the door right now. But then Rachel's also Jewish, so like we have a Christmas tree, and then we have a Jewish wall. <laughs> mm. So she has like all this like whatever Happy Hanukkah and all this kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. it's like very festive at the place. So I I enjoy that. I, nice. appreci- I appreciate that about her. That's really cool. That's really cool that like, it, and it's interesting too that you say that like the holidays, like you've had this emotional roller coaster yeah, yeah, with the very, holidays. Yeah. Like, and I bet a lot of people probably, you yeah, know, I mean, the holidays are the time when, a, when that, that whatever depression or whatever f- like feeling you like when you lose a loved one or you had like a tragedy, you know, it's, it usually has to do with like when you lose a loved one, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, that's when, uh, the, the, the holidays kind of like the, the holidays kind of like, accent it you know what i mean yeah. the holidays like give it an extra like oh yeah my mom's not here my dad's not here my brother my sisters or whatever sorry everyone we had to fix that, <laughs> that so yeah, yeah the holidays you, when like, you that's when you miss your family yeah. that's when uh that's a good that's a good way to put it. It, it there's accent on it there's like yeah. it has this extra it's exaggerated whatever yeah. you're feeling is exaggerated you're, during remi- the you're just reminded because our idea of holidays is always like family and loved ones being together, and being together and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, I, uh, you know, so, you know, from Jen to Jen, we hope you're out there with your loved ones and family and enjoying uh, the holiday season. You know, this is the best time of year. Yeah, I really, I really starts with Halloween, goes to Thanksgiving. And, and I'm sure with you, you've always, I'm sure you've always had a great holiday, uh, you know, holiday experience. Yeah. I've, I've definitely you know? been blessed to, to, you know, I'm I'm only 25, but throughout my life, I've always been blessed to be able to see my family during the holidays yeah, yeah. And, and and figure out ways to. But that's your parents. You got great parents. Your mom and dad are just like such a good Thanks. mixture of like different personalities. You know what I mean? They're, they're so different. They're so different. You know what I mean? They're so different, but, but they complement yeah, one yeah, another. They so totally well. complement each other. It's 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 so it's so funny to watch them <laughs> yeah. together. I because like I had a good time. Like as you know, like I spent time with them when you weren't even there. Mm-hmm. So just to like you know see like how they are and like you know so that's so like yeah your yeah. mom's all about like we gotta get together. <laughs> yeah, take our family photo. Yeah, yeah, your mom's all this, about that. Make sure it's all good. Yeah, yeah and yeah, do the holidays. I I think, you know, it's so crazy right after I'm, and this will make me sound materialistic, but right after I'm like done opening all the presents for Christmas and all this stuff. And we're all just kind of like hanging out. I automatically get a sense of just like sadness. I'm like, Oh, this won't happen again for another 364 more days. I'm just like, dang it. Kind of the same feeling with EDC. <laughs> not even the I'm same. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Well, for you, that's your holidays. <laughs> yeah, your holiday that is a holiday. I kind of at this rate, I'll have a holiday almost every month. One in July for my birthday. Oh my god. You know, Halloween, October. You know, we got November, Christmas, December, all this stuff. You know. And when is EDC? May. Oh, oh and then April, Stagecoach. Ugh. Yeah. It's like oh, and then February, Bugs, Valentine's Day. Stuff? Valentine's Day. Yes, she is. EDC too. Oh, you take? Has she gone before? She's been to EDC with me. She oh, hasn't okay. been to Stagecoach with me yet. Oof. Val- are you big on Valentine's Day? Are you a big Valentine's guy? Uh, yes and no. Uh-oh. I the the mm. idea of it. <laughs> so let let me let me let me. Oh, you will be. <laughs> you gonna give me chocolates and you gonna like it. Yeah, but what makes Valentine's Day special? 
I think what makes Valentine's Day special is, you know, there's love in the air. There's more love in the air than usual. So I do appreciate that. But just like the thing with Christmas, there's a materialistic side of it mm-hmm. that I think sometimes gets a little bit more celebrated than the actual foundation of why this holiday is even a thing. Yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is. I just mean, like that, how birthdays weren't invented until until Hallmark. Well, I think that you should... I get that joke. <laughs> I they think, still didn't even let me elaborate on the joke. Birthdays what? were invented by Hallmark so they could make cards. Oh, that's the joke? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be sitting when we do our live show. Yeah. Um, you know, you're so not we ready can, yet. So we can allow people to, <laughs> to give me a standing ovation for how funny my jokes are. <laughs> um, Valentine's Day... Let me tell you something right now. Valentine's Day is only special when you do something specifically special for that person. Because anything could sound like what if like you ask any girl like, okay, what if your guy picks you up, takes you on a drive on the coast? He has flowers and a teddy bear and he just takes you to this restaurant on Malibu and you're sitting and you have like a romantic dinner. Does it sound like a good date? You know, it probably does. Yeah. But what you don't know is he forgot it was Valentine's day. <laughs> and he, stopped, he stopped at a gas station, <laughs> got a teddy bear and some roses. Yes. <laughs> he picked you up and was like, let's just go on a drive on the coast. This is going to be romantic. And he, and he, but at the, at what you don't, he's basically looking for restaurants on the coast that have an opening. And he found one and he's like, here it is, babe. And you get there. Oh, I got to stop to go to the bathroom. He yeah, pulls off. Yeah. He calls, oh, can I have an yeah, opening for 2 you know? p.m. And so start, it's like for three and 30 minutes from now. <laughs> That's the thing is like this idea of like some movie romance on Valentine's Day is what people like tend to think about. But it really should be something that's special to you. Yeah, you know, if it's I, like, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, and I think it's not, not, like? even, not even just about uh, the women, though. In general, I feel it's like about the women. it's a, OK. Yeah. What are you talking about? What I was going to say, though, is that like 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 I remember one time um, I was Getting, about an ex <laughs> yeah i was getting chewed out because i didn't know um international men i didn't know what i didn't know that that specific day was international women's day oh i i wasn't on my phone i don't know the Hence exact why date. she's an ex <laughs> well no 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 she's not an ex anymore um, <laughs> Oh my god. Well what I'm saying She got though, on you about that? So what I'm saying though It's Secretary's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's National Tre- Treasurer Day. We celebrate the treasurer. So ridiculous. Um well, what I'm saying though is that a, a few months later when mm-hmm. it was International Men's Day. Oh nothing. Nothing. But guess what? Well, I didn't even know it was International Men's Day. This International Men's Day? I thought Thank that was every day. You. That's what <laughs> And that's how Eric gets canceled, ladies and gentlemen. I thought every day was International Men's Day. That's well, why it's always had... about men, 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 men. That's men, why they have men. Many men, many, many, many men. Um, no, but uh, oh, man. what I'm saying though is that like path of least resistance, man. I, you gotta let that kind of shit go. No, no, I, no. I agree. I, I, I don't. You know, the International Women's Day, Men's Day. I gotta know the dates for sure. I just didn't know it was that specific day. I've never even heard of that. Don't care. I didn't know about it till like last couple years honestly. talk about talk about somebody making some stuff up bro like the other day it was like national bagel day or something like there's yeah, always a yeah, new national always... something I every would love day. to have that calendar though but i guess your fault like my fault. no there's no national bagel day on apple i looked it i looked it up yeah but there should I'm be saying. like there there is there is a lot of random national days though. yeah like, that's what i'm saying i'm like how did today we is national you know, cat day national yeah. dog day. i'm like what how do y'all know this like yeah. but yeah anyways I didn't. I, I was unaware. But what I was saying is that with Valentine's Day, I think if it's it, it shouldn't be about oh let me go get you rose. Let me do this thing that is expected of being doing. I think it should be where the couple, you know, whoever you're dating, it's a it's a time for both of them to do something together that they don't usually do. You know what I'm saying? Well, if that's I, what it is to you, then but I think they should also what... get something special for one another. I think that's important. But I like like I said, I think there's too much of a materialistic side of it because let's say. Okay, cool. You got your girl roses. Dope. How many other times have you gotten her roses out of the last 364 days? Well, this is Matthew setting up for a very bad Valentine's Day. I no, love no, 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 no. You're just putting it out there. No, no. I'm Valentine's just... Day shouldn't be about... 
<laughs> it should be about roses and like all these other things. It should no, be. but it, it depends on what your idea is. So if you think that, then you have to express that. And then your partner is going to be like, well, well, we'll do that because for you. But if yeah, like maybe her, my gift, I just like quality time with someone. Let's say. But if her thing is, I want the chocolates, the roses, the cards. Oh, well, then you the gonna special, get the chocolate, the roses, the yeah, roses, yeah, 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 and yeah, the yeah. cards, and you make reservations at Nobu. Of course, of you course. Know what I mean, um, I, I was just saying, let's not ignore the materialistic side of it, and that it was created by just another random human being. Everything's re- materialistic, man. What yeah, no, about? that's Everything you do is that's all true. And I could be sounding super cheap right now, yeah, but at the end of the day, you're cheap. Are you cheap? Is he cheap? You're cheap. I'm not cheap. You call my brother cheap. He is cheap. You don't know Dylan well enough to say if he's cheap or Dylan's not. Dylan's cheap. How do you know? Is he cheap? No, he's actually not. He has more. He has a lot of nice. Bro, have you seen his setup? His gaming setup. This man is not. I cheap. know, but that's like this man's is not cheap. Yeah, Dylan, well, he knows what I'm he talking likes. about. Reg, but cheapness is not when you spend your money on the thing that you love. Yeah. Cheapness is like when you let every. There's a fine line between cheap and practical. Though. Yeah, when uh, and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> cheap. Well, no, I, I'm definitely. I'm probably the cheapest out of my family, just because I've gone through so many different phases of money. You know what I'm saying? You're that, the cheapest, Mister. Like we just had an episode where you spent three hundred thousand dollars on rent. Because I learned it's, to not do it. <laughs> so I was like, now I'm cheap. Now I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm I all about. I'm a. I'm a creature of comfort. So no, like, same, same. You know, so and play- same thing with my brothers too. Honestly, my entire family were like that. We're very yeah. spoiled with that. We we do like comfort for sure. Yeah, and that, and that, all I'm trying to say is like, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. If you make money, spend the money on you. You know, mm-hmm. but it's like it's it's one thing to like frivolously spend money on nonsense. Yeah. And then all, but there's a difference between that and doing things that make you comfortable. Like yeah. for instance, like if I'm going to, if I'm going on a trip, stay at a nice hotel. Yeah. Oh, hundred. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what yes, hundred percent. That's the kind of stuff. I'm That's talking when about. I will spend. Yes, we're yeah. going somewhere. We're already. Yeah. And it's the same theory. It's like, like, let's say I'm at Best Buy, right, or I'm at this place, and I want to get a new TV, and I'm about to spend, you know, a thousand dollars on a new TV. But there's one that's really good for eleven hundred, twelve hundred. I'm already dropping a thousand. I'm gonna drop an extra two hundred to have hey, some. Like, there's that's certain, what I'm saying. there's Preacher certain comfort. things you're already gonna go on this trip. Let's at least get in a nice hotel. We're already buying this TV. Let's get a good one that's going to really hold it yeah, down. I don't want to be the type that's like, you know, you got, you're out to dinner and you're like, oh, do we need an advertiser? How much is that? You know, it's you like, don't yeah, want to. 50- like, if you have to ask what the market price is, <laughs> you, you're cheap. You shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. That's just rude on a date. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, if ladies, you're on a date, date and, and it says market price and the guy goes, so what's the. <laughs> What are we talking? <laughs> so like, what's the range here, boss? What are we? What are we thinking? You just leave the date, ladies. If yeah. you're listening, let us know in the comments. You're on a date. A guy's like, uh, um, he asked what the market price is. I've never even heard that term in a in a in a restaurant. People, what do you mean the market price? Yeah, because see, you don't go to good restaurants. That's what this tells me right now. What do you mean? Yeah, so when sometimes when you go like they don't have a price on the thing, right? Yeah, because it's yeah. like the price fluctuates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might get like a, a it might. Be, oh, I guess I just never heard the term might, market. I've seen ones where there's no price on it. It says MP. That's what market price is. Uh, that means it'll be like well today it's fifty eight dollars tomorrow it might be forty. Got it. Got but it. it's like whatever. It's usually something pricey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'll go to nice restaurants. I'm just not out here getting the. What's the nicest? What's the last nice restaurant you went to? Tell me. The nicest, last, most recent yeah. one I went to, probably, probably Boa. I like Boa. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's a good one. Yeah, I like Boa. Boa's. You I went. Use, to, you should use. There's a new one in Manhattan. Manhattan oh, there Beach. Is? Manhattan Beach. Oh, okay. I like. The, I like both of the, the one on Sunset. The is one great, on Sunset's a vibe. But the one in Santa Monica is great too. Yeah, I don't think I've been there yet. Oh, that's a good one. That's I a good like one. that one. I love Boa. That's a good uh, yeah. shout out to them. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Paul at Boa. Paul and Tosca. That means oh, a that legend. guy hit me up. You know what? I just went to Boa. I was actually I was with Dane Cook. Nice. Uh, this is months ago, and we were at Boa. Nice. And 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 what I do is like, I use I use Open Table. Oh, I like okay. using Open Table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The app, it's also, an app to anyone who doesn't know it's yeah. an app. That I'm all about you rewards reserve. programs, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every time I do that, oh, they have rewards. I didn't know yeah, that. Every time I do that, they know I'm coming. Because then the nice. guy's like, "Hey, I saw you were coming." Mm-hmm. And then he like he came up to me. and was like, oh, "I know Matthew and blah blah blah." That guy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know who you're talking Paul's about. Paul's the man, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he, like, hey, let me give me his card, which is, I thought was ridiculous because nobody has cards anymore. And it was like, uh, you know, he was like, 
No one has cards anymore. Dude, when somebody gives you a card now, I appreciate are you a card. tripping out like, what am I, I supposed to do with this? I appreciate a good card, though. I do appreciate a do good business you? card. Do you? Because it makes me... Look, I will say this. And there was a whole... I, I remember having a conversation with someone about this. The reason I do like cards is because it's a physical reminder. Sometimes when you put someone in your phone book, you might forget about something right away. You know what I'm saying? I like the physical reminder. I put it in my wallet. I'm like, okay, cool. I, you know, like, I like that. <sighs> I don't. The people, should, if anything, the people should just show you a QR code. They should oh, just be that's like, smart. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, scan this. Yeah, scan this. This is my Instagram, Twitter, yeah, yeah, TikTok, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my my they dossier. Act, they actually like, have things like that where you can. Uh, it's like a little. Uh, it's thing called like Popple, where you like. It's like you, kind of like. Um, See, you know, of course, you would know about that kind of stuff. Apple. Well, a friend of mine, uh, someone actually Olga knows too. They have a company it's called Popple, and it's like, yeah, you pretty much just like a cute a thing where you just. You know, when you want to do Apple Pay for your phone, you just kind of put it up next to the thing and it ding, ding, you know, ding. same thing with that. By the way, she All might be the prettiest like, Olga I've ever met. Yeah. That's just not. I don't know many Olgas, but definitely yeah. the prettiest. Yeah. That name just doesn't ring like. <laughs> like Veronica. It's not like, yeah, it's not like Britney <laughs> or like, it wouldn't even be a good stripper name. Yeah. Coming to the stage, Olga. <laughs> People would be like, ugh, what is she going to look like? <laughs> Hi, well, I'm just, Olga. <laughs> they, would just go to, with her, they would just go with her middle name. Uh, what's her middle name? You want Chantel. To tell oh, yeah. Okay. Like Chantel, that. entering the stage. Entering the stage. Chantel. <laughs> Champagne Chantel. <laughs> she comes, she just spraying it on everyone. It's like, what the heck? All my dollar bills are now just like soaked. Like, what the what? <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying that. That's, not, that's, God, what she, that's all she heard. That's all she got from that. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that, that's she, so annoying. Gosh, you know, what I mean? you know like you're gonna, saying something, and all they hear is just one th- thing that's that just one ringing. Thing. Even if we went on another ten minutes about it, that's all they would have heard. <laughs> all right, well, we'll, we'll end it on that. Yeah, well, you know? <laughs> according to your Instagram, okay. <laughs> We'll end it before Eric gets slapped. <laughs> before Eric gets backhanded. Stop it, Olga! <laughs> Olga no, no. All right, well, Uncle Olga. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. My name is Matthew Espinosa. And this is Eric Griffin. And you've watched another episode of Gen, Gen to Gen. Gen. Later, everybody. See you next week.